Hi, welcome back to my channel, Zoe Chat, on YouTube. I am all grungy and gross. I literally just walked in the door back from the bins. I'm thirsty and I'm tired, um, but I'm excited to show you what I got. And let me see. Okay, I spent $17.88. Twenty six eighty two. Let's see. Seventeen eighty eight plus twenty six eighty two. Forty four dollars and seventy cents. I got thirty four things. So my average cost of goods for the bins is actually a little high. It's a dollar thirty one. Um, and <laughs> I will tell you, I went in there like gung ho, like I am going to get summer stuff. The thing is that the pins, you sort of get what you get and you don't get upset. And so I grabbed a lot of things that are not summer. And that's just all there is to it. And I'm going to list them now because I don't care. I list year-round. And I'm hopeful um, that some of these things are going to sell. Anyway, some may sit for a while, but I'm excited to show you what I got. Uh, just so you know, to my bins. So New Hampshire went like no mask before Massachusetts. And I go to the bins in New Hampshire. And... The bins up there were doing rotations, like 7 a.m., 9.30, I don't know, the next one's like at noon, and I don't know, until the afternoon, and an hour and a half to two hour rotations, and they were, you had to wait in line, and they were giving you a number, and the numbers were in random order, up to 45 people, etc. And so today I got there, and I got there during the 7 a.m. rotation, and I just went in, because I got there like at 7.30, and I got a cart, and it was fine. But there's like nothing there. It was totally picked over. Like, I, like the first 30 minutes, there must have been locusts in there, okay? So I was like, well, I'll stick around for the 9.30 rotation. And I was out of there like at 8. I mean, there was nothing to look at. And so I come out at 8. There's other people lined up for the 9.30. And they didn't hand the tickets out till 9 a.m. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I had to get gas. And like, so I went and got gas and got myself a drink. And I came back and I'm looking at the line. I'm like, gosh, I can't believe I have to get in this line already. So I went and got in line. Nine o'clock, they didn't come out and give tickets. Everyone was just getting in line just so that when they opened the door, you got to go in in the order that you were standing in line. And it was locusts, okay? It's totally different now. They're not enforcing like one person to a bin or anything. This woman came, I was looking at the bin, I was going through it, she came, scooped up with two arms, everything in the bin, just put it in her carts. So what these people do at the bins is they just go and they take everything out of the bin, put it in their cart, and then sort to the side which is horse crap, okay? That is, should not be how it works. And I, I don't want to do that, um, but that's what people were doing. So these bins were like empty in two seconds because people were literally coming in with two arms, grabbing everything out of the bins, putting it in their carts and running away. So I'm going to have to rethink my bin strategy a little bit, but let's see what I got today. Um, I think I got some good things, but um, again, not the summer stuff I was hoping for, but let's, let's take a look. Okay, these... We're in a hard goods bin and they are little kids converse and they're a little dirty but i can clean them up the bottoms are in really good condition and they are like this light pink they are so adorable and they have this like for little kids like they don't have laces but they have this like velcro open on the side it's so cool they're us seven so little kids seven and i'm excited to get those listed those are adorable but i told you not summer these are like a merrill slip-on clog these are the U.S. Women's Five. So these are small. Um, so these will probably stay. But these are, like, I think these are new. One of them has still has, like, the shoe form in it. Um, and they look like they've never been worn. Merrill Mock. Um, if you look at the bottoms, I mean, the bottoms are, like, immaculate. So I think these are brand new. So uh, these are new without box, new without tag, but those are good. These... Now, I know it's not like booty season, um, and these have a little heel drag, but not too bad. Bottoms are in pretty good condition. And I figure these booties can still be worn for spring. They have this cute little tassel on the zipper. See that cute little tassel on the zipper? But what a great brand. I scooped up some Vionics. Um, now, these have definitely been worn, but like I said, they're in pretty good condition, and they are size 8. I do not need any booties, but they are my size. So, you know, worst case scenario, if these don't sell, I could have a new pair of Vionic booties myself. But these, I just think, are so cute, and I was so excited to see these Vionic booties lying there. And just, you know, I got to the shoe bins. There were three shoe bins today. And in the past, there's been like two. There are three shoe bins today, and the shoe bins were 
totally picked over. Like, I got over there after. And I got all these shoes in the shoe bins, except those little Converse. These are sort of fun. These are summer. These are Skechers. And they're a sandal. And they have this, like, adjustable Velcro strap on the side. And they are, like, with a toe loop. These really cute Skechers sandals. They're in really good condition. They're really just a little dusty. Um, but they're in great condition. And they are also a size 8. So there's at least one summer thing for my haul. So I was excited to find those. Okay. Next three pairs are all boots. And they're not even close to summer. But I had to grab them. They're not in perfect condition. But look at These are the short Uggs with the little button. Brown, chocolate brown Uggs. They are size women's seven. Those are cute. Got one of those. Put those over there. Then I got these taller brown Uggs. Now these need a little love. These have like a little water damage, but I think they'll clean up just fine. And oh, some free hairs in those boots. That's great. Oh, did you just see that cloud of dust I ate? That's disgusting. And these are Ugg, a women's size six. So see, this one has a little water damage too, but you know, ultimately they're not in terrible condition. I mean, the bottoms are okay. Um, and the inside, you know, is okay, except for being dusty and trying to choke me. Um, but you know, I just couldn't leave them. And then last, look at these. Now these have heel drag for sure. Okay. These have some damage, but I think these will sell anyway. These are Sorel boots and they have like a little, they're like duck boots. They have a little bit of paint blue paint on them. I don't know. I'll try to get it off, but if I can't, I'm not worried about it. These are women's size 12 too. So they're like a really great size, nice big size. So instead of find those. Okay. Excuse me. So can't wait to get my washing machine going, get the stuff listed. Now these are brand I've actually never found before. And I hear people talk about it. It's Shein. Okay. But they're four XL and they definitely have bins schmutz on them. But look at, they're these denim shorts. And look how cute the back pockets are. With these like little white flame embroidery. And I'm sure that schmutz will come right out. It's just binge schmutz. This is summery. This was nice. This is an Athleta. Size medium. Look at that. And then a cute little tank. That's sort of that ombre, you know, bleeding from the dark blue at the top to the light pink at the bottom. I thought that was adorable. This is just a kid's champion, but it's got the big C champion on it. Kangaroo pocket front sweatshirt. Sweatshirts hopefully can sell you around. Uh, this is L.O. Bean. Kids, 14. Just a fleece. But it's a lightweight fleece. You know, who knows? You could wear it in the spring. Um, and I like it. It's got this, like, chartreuse, like, shocking, like, yellowy green um, inside the collar. I thought that was cute. Okay, then this is the second athletic piece I found. And this was funny. I felt it, and it felt good, and it was so hard to read the tag because the tag was, like, all turned around. It's still all turned around. But you can see there, Athleta. And it's a size large. Athleta is size large. And it's thin, and it's just this really great, like, sweatshirt dress. And it has thumb holes. And, you know, I think that would be great for spring. You can wear it over your leggings, go to the gym in it, or just wear it by itself. And I got two pairs of these. Let's see if I can find them, put them together. So these I'll probably lock together. These are Eddie Bauer, and they're both size 8. These are these, like, sage green with this nice little pattern on it. These cute little summer shorts. And, again, I was really trying to find some summer stuff. And these are, like, the same shorts, but in, like, a, a brown. Same size. So I will definitely lock those together, Polly. Um, this is my second time finding Orange Theory. And the Orange Theory leggings I found sold. And this is Orange Theory. But this is an extra small, unfortunately. But how cute is this? With this star print. And it's just on the front and then the back is plain red. Um, but I just thought that that tank was really cute. And again, trying to find some summer things. So even the extra small, I picked it up. Uh, these are Levi's 550 Relax Fit. They're 38, 32. These are a nice big size. This light wash. 
they're in okay shape. There's a couple spots on the legs, like some discoloration. But, you know, people like their Levi's worn, and I'm going to run those through the wash. I'm not worried about it. I got two bras. One is this padded Victoria's Secret pink t-shirt bra. I thought that was cute. And it's a 32B, tiny size, but that's okay. All right. Oop, one down. Then I got these. See with the big spell out down the leg. And they're a jogger. They're cinched at the bottom. And these are medium. I think these are men's. Well, I don't know. There may be a women's medium. I'll have to look these up. But I thought these were cute. And again, you know, those can probably sell you around. Let me get the thing that I dropped. Bear with me. Uh, this I'm going to have to do some. Oh, this is a Via. There it is. There's the logo. See that? It's hard to see black on black. It's a Via. It's a sports bra, but I just thought it was so cute. Look at the back with that sort of ladder cut out. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a size. I may just have to. Oh, look at that. It's got a size tag. Well, it's got a tag that says something. I'm probably going to have to measure this. Uh. Uh, I can't, it's not legible. It's, it's really worn, but anyway, I don't know. I'll try and list it. Who knows? 10, 12 bucks. Um, these are Aeropostal, just cute little shorts with a little cuff hem. Um, and again, trying to get some summer things. So pick those up. I think this is the last pair of shorts and these are banana factory, but I think these are new without tags. Um, they still have like the stitching in them from like when they had the tag on the back. And these are just super cute. See, it's like this really fine micro stripe, like pink and white with the two buttons. Size four, Banana Republic Factory. Again, looking for spring summer things. These I probably shouldn't have picked up, but I sold a very similar pair of pants to these. These are US size four, but you know, again, they're new with tags, which is so hard to turn down. Um, but you know, maybe these will get $15. They're Adrian Vittadini and they're just this really cute. And I think they're like a crop pant with this sort of diamond pattern. Um, and again, no tags, it's really hard to leave behind. So, you know, again, maybe $15. We'll see. Here's the other bra that I got. This is Victoria's Secret. This is like a 48. This is a big size. No, this is a 38C, which is pretty with this lace overlay underneath the Boob caps. I don't know. I thought that was kind of pretty. And again, you know, bras, my average cost of goods, like I said, was $1.31. But, you know, that itself, you know, didn't weigh anything. This I got, I don't know if you guys watched Lori Tata, um, but she had bought some new tags. And I think this is Target, if I remember correctly. Shade and Shore bikini tops. But look how cute this is. With the scalloped edge and the lemon print. And, and um, like I learned from her video, there are bra cup sizes. So this is a 34C. And I just thought that was so cute. And again, you know, it didn't weigh anything. So I had to grab that. Okay. Talk about not the right season. But look at this puppy. This is a Levi's. I'm not sure if it's vintage. Size extra large. Like faux. Like Sherpa lined. Big old jean jacket. And again, this may sit for a while. But it's too nice. I just couldn't leave it. I gotta give that a shot. Okay, this is kids. And you can always tell kids because it's got someone's name, lovely written right on the tag there. But this is a size seven. And this is just like a little kid's um, Adidas jacket. Oh, that I just realized the zipper is broken. So there's my dud. And it's so, oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Ha <laughs> ha. I do that all the time. I convince myself that I made a mistake. Um, because it's so easy to do. And I just thought this was super cute. Little zip, Adidas, with the pocket in the front. Okay, this I'm gonna have to look up, but it's Scrub Star is the brand. And I keep ta hearing resellers talk about scrubs, and this is size large. And this just felt great. It's like a dry wick fabric. And look, it's got these great pockets on the front, and it's got side vents. And I just think that this is a great piece. So again, I'm gonna have to look up that brand Scrub Star. 
But um, I just thought it felt so nice, and I've never sold it before. I try it. Okay. Getting down to it, and the last things, none of this is summer. But this is a really good brand. And these are Thermolite Insulation, size 10, women's Nordica ski pants. They have the high back, right, so that you don't get snow down your back of your pants. They're navy. You know, they have, like, the underneath cuffs, too, so you don't get snow up the hem of your pants. Um, I just thought, you know, again, at the bins, something like that in great condition, had to get it. Okay. I passed, finally, on many Columbia fleeces. But this is so nice. This is Columbia Interchange Omni Heat, size large, women's size large. And it has this fleece line collar. And let me see if it has, let's see. Polyester. Yeah, it's all polyester, so it's not down. But look at how pretty this is. It's so pretty. And then it has like the same kind of detail on the back. And I just couldn't leave it. And, you know, this is like a little special Columbia piece. It's not just the regular piece I get all the time that just sit. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Now, I don't watch it. And I'm thinking about giving this to my friend because she does. This is my Hallmark movie watching sweatshirt. Okay. How funny is that? And I do just have to thread the um, hood string through, but I can feel the end here. So I'm sure I can get that through. Um, and this is a size, it's Hallmark Channel, Heart of TV, size small sweatshirt. So cute. And again, my friend, it would be a size small and that would be perfect for her. Pick up what I dropped here. Okay, just a few more things. Again, I know this isn't the season, See that? L.L. Bean. This is a little kid's L.L. Bean pullover fleece. I don't know. It's hard for me to leave L.L. Bean behind. Uh, this, I think this, uh-oh, uh -oh, we just had like a cave-in. I think uh, that Timberland sells pretty well. Um, and this is a large, and it says t-shirt. Take a hike. Conserve energy. And it says it down, conserve energy down the sleeve too. You know, and I just thought that was fun. And again, Timberland is just one of those brands that I think just consistently, sorry, I had a big, big issue here with everything falling. One of those brands that just does consistently pretty well for me. Um, okay, last couple pieces. Last two pieces. Okay, this I just couldn't leave because... Look at this. The hood has little ears. The feet have little bare faces. And the hands, you can cover the hands up so they can be like mittens. Or you can set the hands free and they can come out the arms. And it has a little bear logo there. And it's just a Carter's size 6. But it was just too cute. I couldn't leave it. And then these last things, I got a jacket by this brand, which I think was, was Urban Outfitters. CPO Provisions. These are men's pants, 32 and I saw these pants online selling for about $20. CPO Provisions, it's a nice brand. And these pants are in great condition. Um, nice blue. And it's sort of like, I don't know if you can see. It's like textured. Um, let's see what's made out of. Yeah, 100% cotton. Um, so these are just really nice. Um, these were for sale, the regular Goodwill, um, and didn't sell. But most of the stuff I got did not already have Goodwill tags on it. So that's my haul for today, and I should have pretty much everything posted by end of day today. If you're interested, and I will link my Poshmark closet down below. But I hope you enjoyed my haul, and I wish it had been more summer things. But you get what you get, and you don't get upset when you go to the bins. So I'm very happy with what I got, although it's not all probably going to fly off the shelves. But that's okay. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and then you can get notified for every other time that I post a new video. Thanks so much. See you soon.